Hi guys, welcome back. This is now issue 125 of Build the Back to the Future DeLorean. So, I think I may have been wrong. I was like looking at this thinking, oh, there's not much to do. There's a couple of um, wires in there. But I've seen a sheet of stickers. So, I think we're going to be in for a very fiddly issue this week. Uh, not as fiddly as the dashboard, but still very fiddly. Uh, so, without further ado, let's go down, open the packet, and let's see what is what. Okie doke. So. As normal, I'm going to open up the package, see what we've got. And then, start the build. So I'm just going to grab my parts tray again. I'm just going to put the platform up there. Uh, okay, so, in this path, in, we've got a little uh, leaflet. Great news. Following many of your requests, we are pleased to announce that your Bats the Future Story model collection will be extended with new elements. Uh, yeah, a new set of wheels, train rails and a light up hood box. So finally we've actually had this, because I've only seen this in the French, uh, in the French version. Um, so yeah, as I say, I'm not going to be doing this. Ah, uh, that's one thing I did want to mention actually. This is, uh, you'll continue to receive your issues. Um, if you so if you don't ring them basically in council they'll just carry on um, assuming that you want them so if you don't want to carry on with the build make sure you phone or email them to tell them you want to cancel uh, because you will get um, you'll still get charged uh, they won't automatically cancel it at 1.30 um, but what I will say is it says if you do carry on they'll give you a superb t-shirt to say thank you for your loyalty now I looked into this they don't do my size. They do two sizes. I think it's like small or large or something like that. And I'm not being funny. I mean, I'm not like huge, but I feel comfortable in like a double XL normally. They don't have that option. So even if I could get the t, if even if I did carry on with this collection, the t-shirt wouldn't fit me anyway. So uh, I think if they're going to do something like that, I know it's free, but they should cater for all of the size range you know from small up to double xl um or you know triple xl uh, just to cater everyone who's, who's building it you know but anyway that being said let's crack on we'll check off these parts and start the issue so we've got the right exhaust vent cable and the left exhaust vent cable so let's have a look and see if there's actually any difference between these Yes, there is. One is longer than the other. Took me a minute to notice that. So yeah, one is longer than the other. And I think the short one is going to be for the right-hand side. And the long one is going to be for the left-hand side, I believe. By looking at the pictures. So I'm going to leave them down in that order for now. We also get adhesive stickers. different colours and we also get a packet of AP screws so let me put the AP screws away and then we'll start the build right so the first thing we want to do I see. Right, there is another difference I missed. Uh, one of these has got a straight pin on it, and one has got an angled pin on it, if you can just see there. This one's slightly angled. So we're going to be starting with this one here, and the first job is to get a blue sticker. I'm wondering how fiddly this is going to be. So 
So we'll take one blue adhesive sticker. And it wants us to stick it around the square end of this wire. Okay, that wasn't too bad. And actually, those stickers are actually very quite adhesive, so I'm happy with that. So that is the first one installed. Next, we want to wrap some more down the middle. So we want another blue sticker. So from that blue sticker, we want to come down to the middle roughly uh, I'm not OCD at all <laughs> so yeah about there I'd say about there so we need to add a blue st another blue sticker in the middle Just like that and then we want a white sticker just shortly after that one and that's really good actually I think you see that the white stickers are actually got like a, a dirty effect on them like it's actually you know been in an engine well, obviously it is part of the engine but do you know what I mean they've actually it's not a brilliant white sticker which I think is really nice so yeah we want to put the white one next to the blue something along those lines it's not exactly perfect, but it'll do. I'm going to adjust this focus a little bit. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. So that is that, that, that one done for the moment. Now we need to focus our attention onto this one. Okay, that's interesting. It says identify cable 125B, which is this one. The small lug at the end of the cable is straight. Correct. It says wrap two blue stickers. Oh, okay, wrap two blue stickers and a black sticker. I'm not reading it properly. I'm scanning it. I missed that. Okay, because it. I got confused because I, th I read it as wrapped two blue stickers and I thought well that's blue and that's black um, and we have got a black sticker but I, I didn't notice this one here ignore me so blue one's going to be nice and easy I'm going to start here and then carefully wrap the blue sticker around Brilliant. And then we want another blue sticker on the other side. Like so. And then we want the black cape. Uh, Ah, okay, we want the black one. It doesn't say whether it's in the middle, but it doesn't look like it's in the middle to me. It looks as though it's around about here, so I'm just going to guesstimate. With that, like so. I think that's roughly about right. Not too far off of it. Yeah, happy with that. Okay, so... 
with that being done wrap a yellow sticker around the middle of the left side router cable shown circled okay so I think it's easier to take this back out This black cable on the left side reactor cable, I'm just going to pull that back out because we need to add a yellow sticker um, that is going to wrap around there. push that back in yeah I'm happy with the position of that that looks good <coughs> okay next we're going to wrap a red sticker around the left side reactor cable as shown so we want to put a red cable around this this wire that's flapping at the moment And it's about there. Brilliant. So we've got something that looks a bit like that. Right, now we're going to be working on this pipe here that's coming off the back. And it wants a red sticker more towards the back. So that's going to make this quite awkward. Awkward but manageable. There we go. So we've got the red one there. Then it wants us to put a white sticker just next to that, more towards the middle. Okay, so something a little bit like that. So I'm good, I'm happy with that. Okay, right. It needs me to get the actual DeLorean off the shelf, and I haven't actually had the DeLorean off the shelf for, well, a long time. Here is the DeLorean. We haven't had this out, have we? So, we need to identify this cable here. And I think I glued this in. I can't remember. That's why. I think I did glue that in. It just kept popping out. So, we need to identify that. And again, we're going to wrap a red stick around there just in the middle somewhere and I'm sorry you can't see there we are that day There is the red sticker on there. Brilliant. So that is it for the DeLorean for the moment. I'm just going to pop this on the floor because we're going to need it back. So next, we want the 
React platform back. Okay. Attach cable 125A to the right reactor exhaust cowl with four AP screws as shown. So I'm going to grab the screwdriver out ready. Make sure I've got the right ends. Yep. So 125A was the one with the slightly crooked end. And what this is going to do is you've got six holes on the side. The two middle ones will be for locating. Lovely. And then yeah, with AP screws, we're going to secure that down. So that is one in. We're going to put the opposite corner in next. Just so I know it's lined up. which we are. Yeah, and I'm happy with that. Uh, so we should have something that looks like that. Now we're going to do exactly the same on the other side with cable 125B. So again, we find the six holes, find the locating pins, so we'll go in the, in the two middle holes. I can see those stickers peeling off over time, you know. So I might add a tab of, dab of super glue over the, um, just over, the, yeah, it's peeling off, just over where they um, they lap over. I might just add a little bit of super glue just over, over where they cross, just to keep them in. It doesn't need a lot, it needs literally the tiniest little coating. So again, I'm going in diagonal. There we go, I'm really happy with the way that's come out. So, that being done, we now need to, this is actually quite exciting, to become one. to grab the DeLorean and we're going to fit this to the back so the first thing we need to do you've got wire 21 which is going to match up with the wire that we poked up through the engine there so I'm going to carefully connect that
then I'm just trying to get the sticker down now. Okay, I'm going to rip that off. I know what wire it is. Okay, so we need to tuck that wire now down into there. Which is actually easier said than done. into the hole right okay so it's telling us to tuck the plug in the hole plug it in plug it in right so come on I put oh I've put the plug in the hole oh Tuck the wire in. This is actually really difficult. Definitely need tweezers for this. Can't seem to get the plug down into there. Ah, there you go. Okay, so with that wire in, I don't know how much of that you caught. Um, we are now going to. Push the end of cable 125B into the Dorian. Dorian bulkhead is shown. Okay, so this a long cable oh, that we've got here is going to go into this hole just there. It's not a tight fit. That's actually a really poor fit. It's really loose. But I wouldn't glue it because if you wanted to, because obviously you can access the engine. So if you did want to take this off and access the engine, you're going to have to remove these. Um, so I wouldn't glue it. I'd just balance it in there. Um, obviously, it's going to be a display piece on the shelf. So if you don't touch it, there's no reason that will come loose. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't recommend gluing. Push the end of the cable shown in DeLorean bulkhead next to 125B. Okay, so here next to that you've got, again I know it's really difficult to see, but just there, in that black square, there is another hole, and that is where this cable here is going to fit. So just bring that round over the top of that cable, And sorry, I know you can't see, but that is a really tight fit. It's definitely the right hole. I haven't got them mixed up, have I? No, definitely not. 100%. They are correct. So, that I think should be a bit longer because the, the picture is showing that sort of coming around here a bit. But it fits anyway, so we'll leave it at that. I suppose you could swap them rounds. 
I wonder if it'll look better. I know this is not how the magazine's saying to do it, but I'm wondering if it's going to look better if I do swap them round just for my own satisfaction. Mm. No, because that hole's too big, and that one is. They they seem to be the right size for the uh, the plugs, so. No, I'm going to leave that as it is. Okay. Moving on. Right, the plug dead centre. Just there. Going to need tweezers, I think. I'm going to lift that up and that's going to plug into the back of the bulkhead uh, a bit like the other one and the hole is in the in the black square there That took a little bit of persuasion to get that in, to be honest. But that is in. Uh, so that is that plug just up there. Okay, then the next one is... Right, this one's going to be tricky, I think. We'll see. There is a hole which you can't see but you can now okay let me zoom you can just about see the hole just down there look there that is where this angled uh, pin is going to go so I'm not going to I don't think I'm going to keep the camera there. I'll see what I can do. Oh my god. How on earth is one. How on earth is one to put that in? one doesn't know I think one is happy with that <laughs> sorry I'm just blabbering yeah I mean that isn't in properly I know it's not that you can see but that is really really tight I don't I don't quite understand Oh, there you go. I think I've just got that. Again, it's a bit... A bit taut. But yeah, that is how that should look like. Okay. And... There we have... the rear platform attached and that's how the back looks like yeah it's looking good isn't it all that detail we've added so what we're going to do now that is the end of this stage but if the batteries are still working in this Let's turn it on and see if this lights up. Last time I tried to turn this on, it all died and then... Well, I'm not really sure what happens, to be honest. Ah, there you go. Ta -da. So yeah, everything seems to be working. We've got the, the blue flux, uh, flux bands lit and then 
this is lit orange here you can just about see might be better if I turn the light out and then you can have a proper look Ta -da! there you go so yeah really happy that that works let's flick a few more switches and make sure other things work because well while we're here Yeah, brake pedal. Like that, that's Yeah, I'm not quite sure where they're sitting yet, but that's the brakes. Yeah, really happy with that. Everything seems to be working, uh, which is really good. And then we come round we've got the inside doors a bit crunchy and all that yeah So that was it for issue 125. I sort of feel like there's Laureen's done now. I think, is there any more detail to go on this? Or is the rest of it now the, the, the like the free platinum box or whatever it is that's going in there? Or for the sides? I, th I Don't quote me on this, but I think that is it for the DeLorean as it is. I don't think there's anything else to add. I think that was the last stage on the actual model of the car. I don't know. I haven't got next week's issue yet. So um, hopefully that will come in the week. Um, there was a bit of a mix up obviously with the DeLorean. Because they've sent me all these, these issues like a month late. And I'm expecting the, the latest issues like, you know, to come. Well, by the time of recording, I haven't got them yet. But hopefully by the time... Um, you see this I will have them and already you've filmed it so um, yeah anyway I'm blabbering now so um, I hope you enjoyed the video please like share subscribe if you wish to buy me a coffee there is a link in the description below uh, also there's a link to my Amazon wish list um, thank you so much for all the support already and until next week take care and see you next Friday na, 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 na.